The target for the A-bomb is this nest of Martian machines in the Puente Hills, where more of these meteor cylinders came down early last evening. All radio is dead, which means that these tape recordings I'm making are for the sake of future history, if any. Reed, this is Ben. Can you hear me, fella? Reed, I'm calling you. Tell us what to do and we'll do it. Don't give up, pal. All are right there, big boy. It's clobberin' time. This guy ain't so tough. Something awful is happening to me. I can't stand it. I've turned into some kind of thing. You won't find him here. He turned the ray on himself and is now back on your world. Farewell, Fantastic Four. We shall never forget you. <laughs> Correct. I am not a car. I am the night automated roving robot. The first in a bold new experiment. You may call me car. Get in. Let me show you what I can really do. You need me. I meant what I said earlier. You may not be Aladdin, but I am the genie. I can make all your dreams come true. Whenever candle lights flicker, where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present. There's no turning back now. Our tour begins here in this gallery, where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. Because you'd be a stranger to their ways. Nobody down there really wants to know Jack Frost. Give me time to consider your request. A century or two. You may become human. Temporarily. I will give you a winter of humanity. Dummy, dummy on my knee. Who is handsome as can be? <laughs> and dummy, who is brave and strong and nice? <laughs> He's slipping again. Fun, huh, dummy? Hey, who is that girl? Oh, she is beautiful. I will woo her and win her for my wife. What does your majesty wish of me? Schmendrick, my dear boy, how nice to see you. The legendary Schmendrick? The runeless wonder? I realize your majesty is a great collector of oddities, but... Uh... You bet I do. Come in here and close that door, Rubble. Too late for the coffee break again this morning, eh, Rubble? I've been looking for you all morning. Sit down. Not on the floor, Dumbbell. In the chair. Friends, that baby in a tree item reported earlier proved to be a hoax. The baby turned out to be a little Rontosaurus dressed up as a child. <laughs> <laughs> now I will prove that whoever controls the elements controls the universe. There is only one threat to my plan. Space Ghost. But I will soon eliminate him with my ice ray. <laughs> soon all on Earth shall know my star band surpasses any power in the universe. We meet again, Green Lantern. I will have my revenge on the Guardians themselves. Let me introduce myself. How do you do? I am Professor Ludwig von Dijk. Today we are going to discuss the wonderful world of color. This whole program is being seen in color. Ha! And that's a lie. You know that's a lie. Because only the people with color TV sets is seeing it in color. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm going to tell you. That's Mr. Dilly, isn't that you? Willie? Lily? Fisby? Disney. D-I-S-N-E-Y. Gotcha! <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing with my fishes? Ah, uh, Yiminy, I got no use for fish mooch and penguins. 
come and get it, little fishes. Yum for your dinner, Horten. That's a good girl. Hey, Jose Hitsu. Don't tell me you forgot your old pal Manuel Tijuana, Guadalajara, Tampico, Gomez, Jr. Now, what brings you to my humble little country, of which I am sheriff? Si, sí, Jose. And I, Manuel Tijuana, Guadalajara, Tampico, Gomez, Jr., will assist you. And, uh, Bamboo, at your service. He comes and goes at will. He is a wizard, you know. When the day is gray and ordinary. Herr Bürgermeister, Herr Bürgermeister, look what was discovered on your front stoop. No, sir, a baby. Please, sir, take care of my child and protect him from the dangers of the mountain of the whispering winds. Hmm? A toy? As I suspected, I hate toys. And toys hate me. Either they are going or I am going. And I am certainly not going, Grinsley. Right now, you're probably asking yourself, how do people quench thirst at the beach? Hey, man, these beach parties are like frantic. Here's something to beat the sandy feeling in your throat. We always drink 7-Up. Oh, bathing is so refreshing. Gives one a chance to meet new friends, you know. Have you heard about new Kellogg's Apple Jacks? Crisp cereal rings toasted with cinnamon, tasty with real apple bits, and loaded with so much energy that, well, watch what happens to this bunch of bullies. Huh? Hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry, my ghostly good blueberry flavored cereal, Booberry, <laughs> is part of this complete breakfast. Cheer up, my porcupine pal. A fruitful breakfast will share right now. Follow your nose. It always knows. Oranges, lemons, cherries, and other natural flavors. Start with a balanced breakfast, including Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Follow your nose. Oh, of corn on the cob flavor don't depend on the cob sprout. Yep, Niblet's brand corn is special. It's even vacuum packed with very little water, so it stays more crisp and sweet like corn on the cob. Hi, I'm Poppin' Fresh, the Pillsbury Doughboy, and here's a Poppin' Fresh idea, and Pillsbury says it best. Pillsbury Crescents have so much butter flavor, they're hard to forget. Try butter flavored Crescents, fresh and hot, and Pillsbury says it best. <laughs> but let us move some miles away to the headquarters of Claude Badley the world's meanest animal trapper. Claude was in the middle of an Ernest Confab with the big television producer, Ernest Confab. What's my motivation? That's it. If I, if I were king, oh, what treasures at your feet I'd fling. I don't have to act, old boy. I am an ape. Tis true, queen, that thou art fair. But so is Snow White. Have a care. Far away, though Snow White be, she lives and is more fair than thee. Say, that's my favorite show, too. What am I waiting for? No TV, no bubble smoke. <laughs> Hi, fellas. You want to push squiddly diddly at your service? I really don't think Cotton Tail's a man, sir. I mean, he is boastful, he has no sense of responsibility, and sometimes, sometimes he fibs. But it was an accident, sir. The child didn't mean to. No funny, no funny, no funny business now. Ah, bubble, bubble, bubble gum. Corn flavored bubble gum. My favorite. Well, that's all, fellas. Hello, Peter! Oh, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Peter! Merry Christmas! Don't bother me, Jughead. I got to get Louisie her morning eggs from the hen house. It sure did. It snowed money, that's what it snowed. We're gonna take this white stuff and turn it green, green with money. The war between the East and West, which is now in its 326th year, has at last come to an end. There is nothing left to fight with and few of us left to fight. 
Okay, secret, hold on. I'll wait good, like a faithful companion should. How are we going to find a submarine in this big ocean, SS? Hey, what's all this blabberdash about war and 4F and stickles and like that? Look, Flatbush, if you're in trouble, boy, you can count on me. Well, all right, if you don't need me, Flatbush, take it easy, huh? <laughs> Oh, no food for you, long ears. You don't earn your keep, always tripping over your ears and smashing things. Uh, you wish to buy a donkey to take you all the way to Bethlehem? <laughs> I have many fine specimens. Come. Bilbo has served us well. There is always room for a friend. Send Comfortable do right in here and tell him to hurry. Yes, I did do right. Snidely Whiplash is attempting to smuggle furs over the border into the United States. I shall need an undercover man to join him and expose his evil plan. I have to watch the store. You're the man, do right. Hmm, there's driver's license, expired 1926, and here is map of desert, and right next to this little... Li oh, boy! Better yet! His pitch forces identity to the car. So I merely change picture like this, and behold, the new head of G2. Oh, I can see it now, Natasha. What's this? Why, it's from Father Time. <laughs> My old friend. I am in terrible trouble. You must help me. The old year ends in a week. But this time, there may not be another year to follow. You're bold, sir. I'm cold, sir. This dashed snow. Don't weaken. Your beacon must cast its glow. Hooray! <laughs> well, hello there, little fellow. I'm 1776. But my friends call me Sev. Will you be my friend? Yes, somebody lost a zither. Roger Wilcox. Ready? Ah! I guess not. Do you want to be super for half hour or an hour? Budge? Budge, where are you? Oh, there you are. Now then, where is this prisoner you're so proud of? Come along, Budge. I haven't got all day. Don't worry. I won't. Oh, shut up, you! They think they finished me off. They don't know how tough we secret agents are. This is Secret Agent Rock Slag reporting to Chief Boulder. Come in, Chief. Let's see go to get the license. Aha! Stop! Stop! This way, Roberta! Oh, come now, Mr. Slag. You know that's impossible. I know your government has been working on an anti-missile missile. I want to know if they have completed it. Take it easy, Rod. It's only me, Triple X. One question at a time. I did, Chief. Now I'll just help myself to these secret plans and sell them to some sinister foreign power. <laughs> Top alert, lads. The puzzler is on the loose. He takes the form of a jigsaw puzzle in order to steal secret documents. And so, once again, the matchless musicians become... The Impossibles, Crusaders Against Crime. Leaping liquids! He's pressed coily flat. Then it's up to me to stop the puzzler. Rally ho ho you bet your sweet suspenders I am. Now, watch what I've done to that tank. Correction, fellow. Third rate, I've been practicing. And with that violin, I'd be first rate. Yes, sir. I promised my little Nora I'd bring her back a fur piece, and I come a fur piece to get it. <laughs> I remember a story about a guy who cornered all the animals in a thing called the Ark. If it can be done once, it can be done again. 
You are a certain Caleb Plummer. Call me Jeremiah Bleak. I am a certain agent of Her Majesty the Queen. You have a certain Bertha Plummer for a daughter, who in turn was engaged to a certain Edward Belton. But it is my melancholy duty to inform you that a certain Edward Belton, late of Her Majesty's Royal Navy, is lost at sea. <laughs> No place for bugs around here. Ah, I love to mangle insects. Ah! All right, quiet. Mom's gonna say. Ah. What's the job this time, Uriah Core? I know the captain who pays well for captured crickets. Sells them in China for good luck. Uh, a cricket. <laughs> ah. Dearie. Humans must never see toys come to life. Those are the rules. Oh, if it wasn't for them, we'd be ugly. <laughs> oh, but we haven't much time. Hi. You'll fetch a pretty price, you will. A bolt of silk or a crate of tea. What be the matter with you? Oh, deader than a doornail he be. So, you have come to rescue the Caliph. Well, Bengar is not to be caught asleep. Sound the alarm! You will go nowhere, Arabian Nights. You will make a better prize than the Caliph. Seize them! Oh, no. <laughs> You're too pretty to burn in the stove. I will turn you into a table leg. What was that? Ooh, hearing things. <laughs> a uh, mysterious voice. It did came from this piece of wood. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it did. Ooh, why is that snowman getting all the credit? Why don't the children love me? I'm the one who makes winter wonderful. Huh, I'll show him. <laughs> why, of course I did. I'm Jack Frost. I'm wonderful. Why, I can do anything wintery. Harold's television service. Is that you, you big dummy? I got a set to be picked up over at 1431 Riverside Drive, Apartment E. As your counselor, I can only advise you to do what any law-abiding, intelligent, substantial member of the community would do. Hide out till the whole thing blows over. Stop! 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 All right. Didn't you see that traffic light? Up there on the lamppost. Oh, you want a ticket, wise guy? Oh, well, okay, if he just came to life. Mm, well, it, it, North Pole? Oh, yes, ma'am. Route you by the way of Saskatchewan, Hudson Bay, Nome, Alaska, the Klondike and Aurora Borealis. Oh, don't cry, Karen. Frosty's not gone for good. You see... He was made out of Christmas snow, and Christmas snow can never disappear completely. <laughs> it shall be. I will bring you distant stars, wonders from the sea. You may include me. I will bring the fire of the meteors, the rage of the seven seas. I know, Jerry. Five villages and our tracking station on the island of Tanatu. We've got to find out who or what is responsible for the attacks. And we've got too much at stake out there to ignore what's happening. Are, are those animals dancing, Ben Haremet? But it is said, Aaron dislikes all humans. He will not join us willingly. And why this exceptional greeting today, my son? I don't suppose this would interest you, young man? Tis night. We must break camp. And swiftly, the star waits not for us. Strike the tents, pack the camels. And ladies and gentlemen, if you let me to office, I promise to put an end to, and furthermore will increase, and you will have air in every pot. Quiet, isn't it? It should be, for this is the peaceful little village of Foggy Bog, Wisconsin, where the even tenor of life is uninterrupted by the noise and clamor of the workday world. 
There goes your little playmate. Every time he sees a dame, he falls in love. Every time he falls in love, it means trouble for you. Listen, pussycat. Don't let me catch you picking on my little cousin while I'm around. You understand? Now beat it. <laughs> not at all. I think your enthusiasm is charming, and I'm not offended. But like any big city, Paris has its pitfalls. And that's very wise, my dear. Nevertheless, there are still a few unscrupulous characters about. You don't frighten me. Be gone. Bravo. Excellent. Then I shall set forth with my own supply of toys in my own sleigh. <laughs> hey, Rudolph. I've got to aim real carefully or I'll give calls to all the kids on the beach. Well, here goes. Surely, surely, there's no reason to hurry, child. <laughs> I'm sure it is, my dear. Uh -huh. What other kind of news is there? Oh, oh, it's, it's great yes. fun to get messages, isn't yes, it? Yes. I should send them to myself. Not necessary, Miss Fauna. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Dream on. Well, what you expect with these blinking nippers sitting in my lap? You can't go out there. That's water. You'll drown. Then no one will come around to bother us. We'll have perfect peace and quiet. Don't tell me you lads are afraid of a little old thing like a graveyard. Oh.